Greetings, church family. Lent is a time in which we prepare ourselves for Easter. Uh, we prepare ourselves for that experience with the risen Christ. It is a time of penitence. Uh, it begins, as we have said earlier in the week, it begins with Ash Wednesday. It begins with a time of looking into our own mortality. Uh, it begins with a time in which we, uh, we, we seek to find ourselves in the beginning of transformation. We put into practice uh, various ways in which we hope and pray that Christ will be met. Some of us add devotions or we get a specific uh, uh, devotion that we use during Lent. Some of us put into practice uh, practices, really. Uh, we, we find ways in which we can serve. We find ways in which uh, we can embrace the life that Christ has given us. Some of us give up things. Some of us find that as we take away from our life, we allow more room for Christ to come in. Lynn is an interesting journey. I love what Thomas Merton uh, says about it, and I'll share that with you now. I, I always hate to kind of quote, but I, I do, uh, do want to share this with you. He says, for the whole church, Lent will not be merely a season simply of a few formalized penitential practices, half understood and undertaken without interest. But it is a time of turning of all of our minds and hearts to God in preparation for the celebration of Easter and all that means for us, in which some will for the first time receive the light of Christ Others will be restored to the communion of the faithful and all will renew their baptismal consecration of their lives to God in Christ. I love that quote. I love how he takes into consideration all that will happen and all that can happen uh, in this time. And as we find that those even in the church, those outside the church are also seeking Christ and also seeking an experience with the risen Christ. And I think during this time, we are finding that there are those who are seeking to deepen their faith, whether they are the faithful who have been at church uh, on a regular base, basis, whether they are the faithful who have struggled with their relationship with the church or their relationship with others uh, who follow Christ, whether they have pulled themselves away for a number of reasons, uh, we find that this is a time in which many, this is a time in which all of us uh, can find ourselves in a way moving closer and closer to Christ or we have the opportunity to move closer and closer to Christ. And Lent, as we have already shared, is a time in which we can prepare for that. We can prepare for that time in which we come face to face with the risen Christ. We can find in that experience leading up to our interaction with the risen Christ, we, we can find in that experience blessings. We can find in that experience strength as we lean on one another, as we walk with one another. Lent is an opportunity to journey. Yes, it's a 40 day uh, period. It represents uh, many things, the 40 day period of Christ in the wilderness, uh, the 40 day period of Christ being tempted, or rather the 40 day period of Christ being in the wilderness and then his temptation. It's the 40, uh, 40 year period of Israel wandering through the wilderness. It's a time in which we find ourselves relying solely on God. And I think that's the important thing to remember that as we prepare to meet Christ face to face, Christ is with us. Christ is walking with us and even preparing us for that moment in which we recognize him, that moment in which we, we find that he is in front of us. Lent is a time of preparation. We are almost to that moment in which we see Christ face to face, in which we notice the tomb is empty. 
My hope and my prayer is that your journey has been a good one. My hope and prayer is that if your journey hasn't been a good one, there is still time to prepare. There is still time to open ourselves up to all that Christ will bring us. So during this time, on this day, and in the days to come leading up to Easter, may we seek to prepare ourselves. May we seek to allow the God who loves us to prepare us to meet his son, his risen son, face to face. I share this prayer with you as we close. I shall listen carefully as the church proclaims the word of your saving passion and death for the sake of all worlds, all peoples, and all time. You alone are holy. You alone are Lord. You alone, Jesus Christ, are most high. Amen.